previously on My Road to Remission. I decided to do like a little mini series pretty much to document, like the title says, My Road to Remission. Collected the samples that we need to collect. So we are about to head to go drop those off and get our blood work done. It's pretty good. Um. Good morning, Bays. Welcome back to another episode of my journey to remission. <laughs> I know I'm starting this vlog off or this video off very low energy, but this is real. I am tired. My body feels exhausted because last night I could not really sleep well because my stomach was bothering me so I kept tossing and turning tossing and turning tossing and turning and waking up like I think I would probably fall asleep for two minutes or five minutes and then my stomach would hurt and then I'll wake up and I'm trying to turn on see which side to make it less painful and this that and the third but eventually the pain stopped and I fell asleep but I don't even know what time that was but anyways y'all we did get our blood work results back so right now my mom and i are about to head to walmart to pick up some groceries and things and then when we come back i will go over those results with y'all because yeah they are not good <laughs> which is what i predicted so yeah but anyways let's go to walmart all right y'all we are back from walmart i know i said i was we gonna go to walmart but i didn't i decided not to take y'all left y'all here i did good to carry myself through walmart like i am so tired y'all like it's not even funny but i'm back at home i bought some of these uh chobani peach flavor yogurt so i'm gonna try that see how that tastes but let me tell y'all about these results before i I change and get relaxed because I'm about to lay down and take me a nap because I gotta I gotta do something to try to recharge myself because yeah okay finally after eternity later I am logged in so let me look I'm gonna go to my blood results first so of course I know a lot of this stuff I don't know <laughs> what it exactly is or means but it says my hematocrit is low whatever that is but it's barely low like it's 33.9 and i think if you less than a 34 so it's like right there um uh, my platelets are high and my um i know that the the number i think the alt i think that's what it was with that's test like some parts of your liver i think that number was high so i definitely got some flare up in my liver which i did have that before before i first got diagnosed um i had to get an ultrasound done of my stomach and it looked like i had a mass on my liver or fatty liver which um with having crohn's disease and the different medications that you take and the disease it can sometimes cause liver damage or things to happen with your liver uh so that's why it's important to get your liver blood work done checked very often however whatever um and my iron is dirt low y'all dirt low so i'm just gonna take a screenshot of everything that's low and i'm just gonna put it on the screen so y'all can see it right here and where everything that's low and high so y'all can see it because yeah I don't really have a comparison for this because when I got um, blood work done back in July it wasn't like a, a full panel to test everything like this is so yeah but let's get over here Hold on, I'm still taking screenshots okay let's go over here to the stool results so for people who have like Crohn's disease or any type of inflammatory bowel disease there's like this 
I don't know what it's called, whatever that show up in your stool. So this this is called cow protecting fecal, whatever that is. Um, mine is really really high. Like when I when I first got diagnosed, it was high, and then when I went in July, it was high, but it's higher now. So anyways, right now my that number is. 1145 when i got this same stool um test done back in july of 2022 it was only 395 so july august september october november december january so six months later i have increased like by my math ain't that good what is it 800 700 points 800 points so yeah needless to say um based on the lab results things are not getting better they're actually getting worse even with the increased dosage of humera and everything like that so um the next thing i have to do which i was trying to do last week was set up my appointment for my ct scan to of course check my bladder to see if there's any fistulas or anything going on with my bladder um but baby them people they got they don't have the best uh i'm opening this yogurt y'all i'm about to text it on camera for y'all they don't have the uh and i do look orange red oh well oh pain in my stomach they don't have the best customer service because i called them try to set up my appointment somehow the line got disconnected i called them back and then i guess miraculously they became busy in two minutes and she was like well she'll call you back she ain't call me back so i'm gonna have to call try to call them tomorrow in between class or something to try to set that up because that's the last thing i need to do as far as um testing goes um yeah Ooh, i'm sorry y'all it's pain running everywhere it comes random and it be shooting everywhere from my butt to my stomach to my genital area <laughs> Ooh, but let's taste this yogurt like i said i ain't never tasted the peach flavor i tasted strawberry strawberry is my favorite that was my mom coming in to give me receipts because she know i'd be doing the fetch rewards but um yeah uh strawberry is my favorite the berry i don't really uh i've tried that i don't like it too much so we're gonna try peach see how that taste and y'all i'm gonna have to not put granola in here i'm gonna have to eat this yogurt plain because honestly granola really isn't the best thing for me to eat right now i don't believe like right now with me and this flare-up i'm really trying to eat the things that will help in a flare-up or that is i guess more soothing to my stomach that won't cause more discomfort than what i already have so yeah they say yogurt is a good thing to eat um let's try it okay that's not bad it's pretty good um yeah they say yogurt is a good thing to eat um i did try that rolled oats oatmeal that is different than regular oatmeal so, yeah, but what I'm going to try to do with it, I'm going to try to make some overnight oats to see if I like that. Because making it, like, hot in the microwave, I mean, I ate it. I can eat it, but mm, if I had a choice. So, I'm going to make, we're going to make some raw oats, oatmeal tonight, overnight. I can't even think straight, y'all. I said raw, am I saying it right? Overnight oats tonight and see how that tastes in the morning but i am going to stop talking to y'all right now i'm gonna finish this yogurt take my iron pill because my doctor did tell me to st start taking the iron supplements after i got my blood work done so i did that so i've been trying to take them every day but i make sure that i eat something before i take them because i don't know sometimes that iron be messed with my stomach so yeah i'm a like i said eat this i'm gonna relax for a couple hours and then I'll come back on here when I come back on here. It has been several hours later. And y'all see where I am 
in the bed. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I ain't been in here um all day. But after I talked to y'all earlier, I definitely did lay down and rest and took me a nap. And I realized another reason why I was feeling so drowsy today, today is because I gave myself my Humera shot yesterday, which makes me drowsy for like two days. So that's another reason why I was feeling super drowsy today. But I took a nap, you know, lay down. So I do feel um, a little less tired than what I did feel this morning. Um, I did bake some chicken wings and made some white rice with that. I didn't record myself doing nothing today. I was going to record myself cooking. I was going to record myself making my overnight oats. I didn't record none of that. And I'm so sorry, y'all. But y'all just have to excuse me for today. Like, today was just not my day, okay? But this is me documenting my journey to remission, raw, censored, and uncut. But anyways, I did, um, like I said, meal prep some overnight oats, which I have never eaten overnight oats before ever in my life or made it so this is gonna be an experiment we're gonna see how it tastes in the morning i just went on pinterest and kind of looked up some recipes and then i just followed the instructions on the side of the the roll the rolled oats oatmeal that i have to see how like the ratio of the oatmeal to the uh almond milk and stuff like that i mean it wasn't hard to make but i just hope it tastes good like the texture of rolled oats is already mm, so we gonna see but it's like nine o'clock right now and I, I haven't been too long just finished making that roll that um oatmeal so i'm about to lay here of course continue doing some homework and then tomorrow we are on the journey of trying to call to get our ct appointment scheduled so we can get that done and yeah oh and also calling our pharmacy to check to make sure that our copay assistance card was approved so we don't have to come out of our pocket for the outrageous amounts for this Humera because for people who don't take medications on like prescription medications baby it's expensive like I called and set up for my um with my new pharmacy, my medication, with my ins with my new insurance and stuff, and I had gave them my copay of census card, but she was like, she <laughs> when it came to the total, she was like, your total is nine thousand some, and I ain't gonna lie, after she said nine thousand, I don't know no other digits she she said after that, and for a second, you know, some people when they say stuff, they say it like in a joking way, they be like, no, I'm just kidding, but she didn't say that, she said it again. I said, um, did y'all not get my Humera copay assistance? Like, did that not go through? Because with that, that makes it to where you don't have to pay $5 a month. And I'm so grateful for that because without Humera's copay assistance, baby, I would not be taking no medicine. I will be out here just, I don't know, just doing, 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 doing. But anyways, I'm about to chill out for the rest and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday, and y'all already know school day, but right now I am up adding blueberries to these overnight oats. See how they taste. Whew, y'all ain't gonna lie. My energy level is low right now. Um, I'm pretty sure it is due to the fact that I did not drink a lot of water yesterday so i'm pretty sure i am dehydrated right now so as i drink more water throughout the day it should increasingly get better but ooh, i swear y'all having flare-ups is such such up and downs you have your good days then you have your bad days but your bad days just seem to be consistent you be like back to back to back to back but I'm really just about to taste these oats. I'm not really going to eat them because I'm not really hungry right now. That's another thing. Like, my appetite be up and down. Like, some days, like, I can be good. I can eat 
a lot of stuff. Well, I ain't gonna say a lot of stuff, but I have more of an appetite and then other days I don't and I'm just making myself eat because I know that I need to eat. So, yeah, I mean, this, I mean, it, it don't look bad, but it don't look that appealing. Hold on, let me show y'all. So, this is what it look like. And, yeah. Mm. Mm. But, when I made this last night, what did I use? I did a half a cup of the oats. Let me tilt y'all down so. I did um a half a cup of the oatmeal with the oats, a half a cup of vanilla almond milk sweetened cause, mm, and then a half a cup of vanilla Greek yogurt, and then I put some honey in here. Don't ask me how much. I just kind of squoze some in here. It probably looked like about a tablespoon or something, and then I just put some cinnamon in here. So, and I then this morning I just added some blueberries. So let me give it a little taste. Ooh, Lord. And then my taste buds been acting a little funny for about a week or so. But I'm pretty sure it's because when during midterms, I was eating a lot of candy. Like candy is my go-to, like with snacking and stuff. And the candy I was eating was gummy worms and y'all know like the stuff inside gummy worms eat enough of them like it'll kind of wear at your taste buds and that's what it did so it's still been kind of healing from that and i'm sorry y'all if i'm sounding like out of breath or really tired but that's what happens when i'm like having my tired days <laughs> i sound like a person who is which i am out of shape i ain't gonna say sounding like i am out of shape because i ain't worked out and god knows how long like seriously but I'm just stirring this. I'm really nervous to taste it because <sighs> what if it don't taste good? But let's let's see. Let's get us a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, y'all. It's actually not bad. I don't know what I thought it was gonna taste like. I was nervous. I think it was the cold oatmeal part that was throwing me off. Okay. I can eat that. So, of course, I'm not going to finish this right now. It is 7.06 and baby, it is cold this morning in Dallas, Texas. I think it's like 30. Let me see how cold it is right now. Like this week is our wintery misery, misery, wintery mix or whatever they call it. It's 29 degrees right now. And then later on today, we're supposed to get some like freezing rain or maybe even snow. Like what? So it's time for me to go outside and crank up my car so let me go do that and i'll come back and talk to y'all a little bit more y'all it is cold out there my 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 little dough was a little froze i opened i had to the button because i have a button you can push the button on the door to unlock it i was like is this the button that mug was hard it crunched when i pushed it and the door i opened it was crunched as i opened i said not that you froze Ooh, it's cold out there for real for real but anyways today since I can already kind of tell my appetite is not really big and today I do have my full day of school I'm not really gonna take a lunch I'm pretty much take like snacks and I think I got these nan crackers from Trader Joe's hold on let me go get them I got these organic nan crackers uh, and I did get some hummus yesterday when we went to Walmart so I'm about to taste these crackers to see how they taste and if I like them, I'm going to take these with some hummus and also, of course, rice cake and I will take a banana, but they honestly are not ripe enough yet and then I'll just save my meal prep, which is just leftover chicken and rice for dinner tonight because I know by the time I get ready for lunch I don't feel like I'm gonna be that hungry considering today I have got to drink as much water as possible to make up for what I did 
for the what I did not drink yesterday. So let me see. Mm, these are really good. I didn't even get a full bite, but these are good. So yeah, I'm gonna get that with some hummus. What else did I say I was taking? Yeah, I swear I got short-term memory loss. I need to take. I said I was taking crackers, hummus. Oh, rice cakes. Lord Jesus, help me. But I gotta put. Make sure I put all this into my food diary, which this is a good thing to do. Um if you are if you do have Crohn's disease whether you're in a flare-up or not in a flare-up just to kind to just to kind to just to kind of keep track to see what foods work good with you and what foods don't keep track of your symptoms and stuff like that see if they're getting better worse the same however whatever like I've been doing this for two weeks now today is day 15 and pretty much every day on there i put what i ate what i drink my poops and my symptoms for that day and i put the times of what i eat and then i put the times of when i go to the bathroom and then i also like with what i eat i put what i eat and what's in it sometimes i even like put the seasonings in there too like all the details and then as far as like my when i go to the restroom i put details of what it looks like how it felt the amount this that and the third because that plays a role too like you gotta look for those uh key factors and then my symptoms which they've been pretty much the same for these past 14 days the one that's most annoying to me which i'm sorry y'all like i've told y'all in the last episode these these episodes are gonna have some tmi in them um but my most annoying discomfort is the rectal discomfort like baby my booty hole i'm sorry it's not used to this it's not used to this like it gets no action and it's sore like it's uncomfortable like that i am tired of everything else i mean it bothers me but that i think bothers me more well i ain't gonna say it bothers me more than my stomach discomfort because at least i can sleep through my through my bottom hurting but my stomach yeah but yesterday well last night my stomach didn't bother me too much so that can that tells me that probably is something that i ate the day before that could have triggered it and i'm pretty sure it was the gummy worms because one of my things that i know i should not be eating that i cannot i have got to stop is candy like eating saturated sugars is not good and gummy worms and skittles have been my go-to and i gotta stop eating those i really do i really 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 they do but anyways i'm gonna stop talking to y'all for this morning i think i'll rumble for y'all enough if y'all listen this far great job um so yeah i'm about to get ready to go to school and i'm just gonna talk to y'all when i get back home y'all it is the next day i didn't talk to y'all uh after i got out of school yesterday as y'all saw the weather got bad so your girl just focused on getting home and due to the weather school got canceled today and so one of my instructors had um an online teams meeting to kind of make up some hours that we missed yesterday of class so i just finished with that and right now i'm snacking on me some um hummus and nan crackers and this morning i did have a cup of strawberry yogurt well, Chobani strawberry Greek yogurt with a couple of blueberries in it. So that was my breakfast. Now this is like my little snack lunch. But yesterday I was able to go ahead and schedule my appointment for my CT scan. So we will be getting that done here next week. But for y'all it'll probably be like the next couple of clips. Because it's going to be in this episode. 
so yeah today um i do feel i mean as y'all can tell i'm not out of breath or talking this sluggish so i guess i do feel a little bit better than what i did yesterday i'm still tired and like want to take a nap which i am going to take a nap um but of course that is due to my blood work so it's me feeling tired that's that's gonna be a probably every day every every day thing for right now until everything gets under control and y'all i look super like oof bright but i came on here and i look super orange red i don't know whatever so yeah that's the update got our ct scan for next well scheduled for next week am i looking forward to it no because i have to be well fasting for four hours that's not hard my appointment at eight o'clock but i also gotta drink some stuff so that way it can light up whatever they need to see in this ct and i am not looking forward to that like can y'all stick me y'all can't run no iv through here like i gotta swallow it mm. and i've done that before and that stuff is not good it is nasty 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 but anyways y'all that's the update so far so We'll see what go on with this CT. All right, guys. Today is Friday, February 3rd. And update. So, right now, of course, as y'all see, I'm in my outfit. So, I'm at school uh, on my lunch break, actually. But I want to time in and give y'all a little update since this morning my doctor did um call me back with my lab results, which we had already went over that. Ooh, they got they about to hit that car. Okay. Let me get out this parking lot. Um we had I had already went over my results with y'all, like pretty much everything is stirred up. So pretty much uh, my doctor called and pretty much was like, you know, your blood, your lab show that your um Crohn's disease is uncontrolled, which obviously we can see that from the blood. So he sent me over um, another prescription. I believe what his medical assistant was saying is like a steroid, another type of steroid for me to start taking. But um, he does want to see me in these next, which way do I go? Oh God, this way. Um, next couple of weeks to talk to him in person about changing my um my treatment therapy of course right now we still i still haven't gotten my ct scan done i don't get that done until next wednesday so i won't have my follow-up appointment with him until after oh no i'm not getting on the freeway no I'm not doing it today until i um get my ct scan done so yep that's the update we will be going to go pick up a new prescription and i think i've taken it before actually because when the lady was saying over the phone it was she was giving me the the real brand but the generic brand is budesonide which i believe i've taken that before in the beginning um so yeah i'm excited to get on to something because i have not been eating not gonna lie to y'all i have not been eating like i've been eating but you might as well say i ain't been like i've been eating like two i'm sorry y'all it sound like people screw i've been eating like two to maybe four snacks and when i say snacks like little snacks in a day so right now for lunch i got me uh a, 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 a what did I get? A quesadilla from Chipotle. Hopefully, I will eat that because I ain't ate meat in like three days, two, three days, and I'm hungry and I want to eat it. But my stomach has been hurting, and I think it's because of those iron pills. So I did stop taking. Today I'm testing it out. I haven't took those iron pills today. So if that's what's making my stomach hurt, like I'm sorry, doctor, but I'm not gonna be able to take them iron pills, like not gonna be able to do it but yeah let's update y'all we about to take some more drugs and yeah see what happens Whew. 
good morning guys i know i am looking crazy but i ain't been well i ain't gonna lie i've been up for like an hour or almost two but i've been laying in my bed i just got out the bed but today is the first day i'm gonna be starting my new steroid medication that my doctor prescribed to me um it is budesonide that's a generic name, but I think the con the the regular name is Intercord or something like that. So I don't think I've taken this steroid before. I've only taken prednisone before, but I have to take three capsules every morning. So we're gonna see how this goes, and I have to. T it's best to take it with the food. Um, the pharmacist when he gave me the medication, um, I did ask him a couple questions as far as like. Will this make me tachycardic as far as with the prednisone? And, of course, he told me to take it best on empty stomach. He was like, it can. Um, I asked him if it was a stronger steroid than prednisone. I don't quite remember what he said because it was kind of later. Yesterday was after class. It was like almost 8 o'clock when I picked up my medicine. Um, but he was pretty much like, it's a little bit better than prednisone and it is definitely... It's commonly taken for people who have Crohn's disease or da da da. But anyways, y'all, this morning I am trying something different. Y'all know I already been eating these uh, apple cinnamon rice crates, but this morning I decided to slap some peanut butter on there because, as y'all know previously, your girl hasn't been getting that much protein. But we we trying to get we trying to get back into it. Okay, get back into it, and I'm hoping that these steroids give your girl appetite because i know when i was taking prednisone i mean the only plus was your girl was eating when i say your girl was eating your girl was eating because i felt like i couldn't even feel my stomach so i never felt full uh, excuse me the rudeness but yeah anyways i'm gonna eat these uh well, I got one with peanut butter, and then I got one with a little bit of peanut butter and honey on there. I don't have no bananas, but I don't try that peanut butter banana combo. I like them both, but I like them both separately. I don't know if it's a texture and flavor thing, but that don't be hitting for me. So, I'm going to eat these two, and then I'm going to take my pills, and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully, I don't have no reactions or no side effects, but we're going to see what happens. <sighs> Okay, y'all, so I done finished eating one of my rice cakes. So I'm about to take and try to take like two of these pills before I start eating the other one. Because I got to take three. And I'm one of them. I'd rather get it over and done with. I know I ain't going to be able to take all three of these at one time because <laughs> maybe your girl ain't got no throat like that. <laughs> it was so funny. The pharmacist like, he was like, you can break it up, you know, take it, um, you know, space out a little bit if you can't do all three at once. I'm like, yeah. I'm not even going to do that because it took me forever to even, in my lifetime, even be able to swallow a Tylenol. And this, these pills are like this. Let me see. Let me, let me let y'all not focus on me. Let me see if it'll focus on the pill. So yeah, they're, they're these little capsule things. And baby, for some reason, these are the ones that like to be floating around in my mouth and I the last thing I need is for it to just boop in my mouth. So, anyways, we are gonna take two right now. Or I might go ahead and take all three of them right now before I eat this rice cake, this other rice cake. So, yeah. I already prayed over this medicine, y'all. I prayed that it will help to heal my body and that I don't have no crazy side effects or nothing like that. So, Lord, <laughs> be with me. All right, here we go. Nine fifty-seven, and we took all three of them pills so day one let's see what happens but let me go ahead and eat some of this rice cake because ooh, 
I feel like one of them pills won't come back. It's floating in my throat. Let me, mm -mm. You, you're not gonna be floating in my throat now. What up guys? It today is Monday. It has been three days since I started taking the new steroids. And I will say so far, so good. They definitely have picked up your girl's appetite some. Right now we are at, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that with my little phone. I'm gonna be able to show that, but we are at uh, Chick-fil-A right now. This is my, mm, I ain't gonna say it's my, well, yeah, I am. This will be my first fast food meal in like two weeks. Y'all know for like the past two weeks, I've been um, trying to eat better, more foods that are better for my stomach to help try to knock this inflammation down because baby, having a tummy ache ain't it. But I wanted to come and give y'all a little update and say your girl has been eating meals for the past three days and we love that. I'm getting, I feel like my energy level is gradually increasing, but I will say we're taking these pills it's like when I first take them, it makes me really, really drowsy for like the first couple of hours. And then when it comes to be time to go to sleep, like, well, I ain't gonna say for sure, but last night your girl was up past 11. Well, to dang near 12. And y'all know your girl be asleep by 10. So they do give you a little bit of, you know, insomnia, I guess, in a way. But I, I don't complain too much because, like I said, my appetite has gotten better and my stomach has been bothering me as much especially since i stopped taking them iron pills i stopped taking my iron pills like i think a day before i got the steroids so yeah i couldn't take that but i'm gonna give me some good old chick-fil-a and i'm excited because i have a taste for that and i won't be eating out until later on this week because this wednesday is my birthday and of course i'm going to treat myself it's my birthday so i let myself slack off but yeah i just want to come in and give a little update so far with these new steroids see how how they've been treating what's my side effects been ain't been nothing crazy so i gotta drink three of these bottles three i gotta drink this one at eight then i gotta drink another one at 8 20 and another one at 8 40. the little doctor the little whatever he well he well whoever the little tech i had who started my iv and gave me my little liquids to drink baby he was cute we done made it to our appointment as you can see um i am sitting here waiting on the doctor to come in we get on this journey y'all we getting closer and closer to getting to remission and i am here for it 